Hello. In this video, we are going to take you through a brief run through the menu to show you some of the basic functions that the programming has on the Shermco Model 3. So once you access your cache drawer, you press your menu button right there. Your display will go to sales. From here, you can travel through all the different setup modes you have. First, we'll describe in brief the sales. If you're at sales, you press your enter button. This will display the total cash for the machine through the life of the machine. You press your down button. It'll show you the total sales for the machine. You press it one more time. It'll show you the e-sales, which is from your credit card reader. It'll show you the total amount of bends and then the clear sales data. You can hit your enter button and it'll clear all the data that is there. You can reset the bin quantity. That is if you use the bin quantity count, um, we suggest that you have your bin quantity disabled. So basically you'll never have to hit the enter button um, and it'll never say sold out on things like your snacks when you have snacks in them. We hit the cancel button, you'll back right out. Hit it one more time and you're back to your sales. Press your down button. You can see that it shows manage. Hit your enter button. It'll be at the coin mech display. As the previous video shows, the coin mech is how you fill your coin mech so your machine will track how much money you have and activate your bill validator. You press down again and you will see the review pricing. Same from the previous video, that is how you set your prices. Press down, you can review your bin quantity hit enter and this is where your quantities would be if you're using the quantity count. Um, as I said previous we always have that turned off um, so as long as people see snacks in there they can bend it. Hit the exit button you'll write back right out. You can go to your empty bin which is you hit it, you select the bin number and it'll spin the, the motor till it empties out how many it says it has. Hit the cancel button you'll be back right out again you can go to sold out. This is just to tell you which of your sodas is sold out. As you can see, B1 says that it's sold out okay. We do have sodas in there, so that's why it is saying that it's okay. Press 2. You can see that in B2 we have no beverages, so it says sold out. We have sodas in there, B4 sold out, and so on and so forth. When you are done in there, you hit your cancel button and back out. You'll see the sold out on there. You can press down again. This is set your service serial number. If you hit enter, it gives you the option to put in any number you want for your own personal serial number so you can track your machines and have it linked to a location. Hit the cancel button. It'll say the bottom, left, and so forth and so on. And hit the cancel and they'll go right back out press down again and it's right back to the beginning. It, the settings just loop around every time. So we're going to hit cancel again and you'll see that we're right back at manage. We're going to press down and you'll see that it says setup. At this point we'll hit enter again and this is the quantity count that I was speaking of. As you can see it says set quantity enable. Hit your enter button. You can see that we have it disabled. They come shipped disabled. Uh, I prefer that you leave it at the disabled markings so you never have to worry about, like I said, your snacks being full and your machine thinking that it's sold out. You can press the down button and it will enable it, but let's keep it at the disabled. Next you can press down again and it says set bill enable. Hit your enter button. Now this is telling you that your machine will enable your bill validator once you have five dollars in credit inside of your coin mech. Anything below that and it will shut the bill validator off so it always has enough change in case somebody puts a five dollar bill in there that it can give change for it. So we're going to hit cancel because we don't want to change that either. Uh, this is set your card reader fee. Hit your enter button. Now this is if you're using a credit card you can charge a fee for every time that somebody purchases it to cover the cost of your credit card. Um, most credit card companies charge you a certain fee so you can set that to, to cover the fee that you're going to be charged. So let's say that if you get charged 50 cents 
you would hit your enter button, put 50, hit your enter button, and it would be saved and any credit card fee would add 50 cents for any credit card transaction that the sales is. Uh, we're going to cancel out of that because we don't want to put that on there. Uh, so next we have the set reader fee. We're going to press down again. This is set your cash discount. If you want to give a discount to make people buy with cash, you can give them a certain 10 cents per product, uh, whatever you feel you'd want to give. You hit your enter button, type in the discount that you would want to give, and hit your enter button to save. I will just demonstrate here real quick. Hit the enter, say you want to give a 10 cent discount, hit the enter button, as you can say, save cash. If you do not want to give anything, you hit your enter again, do zeros, enter, and it is now resaved back at no cash discount. We're going to hit cancel one more time, go right back to the set cash discount, push down again, and this is set drink size. Hit your enter button. Now you're going to have two options here, and it's a 16 ounce and an 8.5 ounce. The 8.5 ounce is basically it's your Red Bull. That is if you want to make your B3 selection a Red Bull. So you would go in there, select the 8.5, hit enter, and it'll show you that it's saving the 8.5 ounce drink. If you're not going to do that and you're going to continue to sell the 16 ounce, you would just go to 16 ounce, hit your enter button, and it will save it. We're going to press down again. This is set your coin return. If you hit enter, you can see that it's turned off. So that means that if someone puts money in there and puts, pushes the coin return button, it will not give them change. We like to put that onto the on button so people get their change back. Hit your enter button and you can see that it saves it and coin return is now on. Scroll down again, you have your bill stop. We always keep that to off. Uh, if you do that, it'll stop the bills. So keep that off. Next, we have defaults. This is when you get all your settings in. If you press this, it'll restore everything to the default settings. So you want to be very careful hitting that because it'll reset everything back. So I suggest that you do not push enter on the set defaults. And we are right back to set quantity enable, bill enable. So we're going to hit cancel one more time. And then we're in test mode. In test mode, this is how you test all your shoots that you have. You would hit enter. You can test your motors, your keypad, your interface, and then it goes right back to motors. So I will demonstrate on motors, you hit enter. You can test one bin. You can test one bin that it continuously spins until you hit the cancel button. Or you can test all bins and it will run through your whole machine. I suggest if you're going to test, if you hit all bins, make sure that your machine is empty because it will run through one of every selection that you have and dropped one of every product that you have. And then you have to reload one of everything in your machine and that can take a little bit of time. So I always suggest uh, stay away from that one unless your machine is empty. I'm going to scroll down to one bin. I'm going to hit the enter button. It asks for which bin you would like to run. So I'm just going to demonstrate on one of the selections here. I will hit A, one, eight. You'll hear the motor run, you see it spin, and you see the product drop. That is how you test a motor. If a motor says that it fails, you can go through there and test it to make sure nothing is jamming it. Or if the motor shuts off because of a jam, that's how you would reinitiate the motor so it starts working again. So now I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go down to the next thing. This is if you want to check your keypad. If you think that your, one of your buttons on your keypad isn't working, you would go down to that, hit your enter button. It says testing keypad. Now you just scroll through and hit every button. And as you can see, any button that you push will show up on your display. Do not hit the cancel button when you scroll through because that will back it out and that shows that the cancel button does work. So you can hit every other button you have and then the final button you would push is cancel and that backs you right out. You can test the interface. That can test the control board that is in the back that runs the motors. Um, I would not press that button because that runs past the thousand and you can sit there for a while as it's doing it and that's more of a in-house test to test the control board more than a user test. So uh, I'm not even going to press that. I'm going to cancel right back out and you'll see we're right back at the main menu test. 
this is for upgrade. This machine has an upgradable board to where it will take a little uh, SIM card will go in there and it can flash it. The reason they do that, that is if the machine ever has a glitch, the manufacturer is able to repair the glitch in the programming and they can send you the programming and you can flash it right onto your board and it will cure the glitch if that is the case. Um, these machines are pretty well made and we have not come across any glitches in them as of yet. So you can be pretty uh, uh, sure that there's none in there. The next one is the sales. So we're right back at the beginning. So as you see, we've gone through the sales, the manage, the setup, the test, and then about the upgrade. That is basically it for all your programming. Remember, hit your cancel button when you are done. So it goes back to enjoy beverage. If you have any questions, you can email us at shrimpcovending at gmail.com or you can give us a call at 877-414-5096. Thank you.